So let's go over how to send a text message. Right next to the phone app, you'll find the text message icon. You're gonna tap on that. And this is our text message menu here. And basically you'll see any text messages that have been sent to you. And if you wanna read it, you'll simply tap on the message and you'll see the phone number of who the message is from. You'll see what the message is here. You'll see some suggested responses that you can simply tap and it'll automatically send those responses. Or you can tap in the box that says text message right here. And when you tap in the box, it'll bring up the keyboard, which will allow you to then type, hi. Now this is the send button. When you're ready to send your message, you're gonna hit that button to send it. Now, if you wanna attach a picture to the message, you're gonna tap on this little icon. So it says text message, right next to it is this little icon here. And here you can find all the pictures you've taken on the phone and simply tap on a picture and add it to the message. For example, I'm gonna just tap on this picture here and by tapping it, it's gonna add it to the message. And then when I'm ready to send the message, I can simply hit again, the send button to send it. Now, to the left here, you'll see a little emoji icon, a little smiley face. And when you tap on that, it will take you to uh, emojis and you can scroll through here to see a list of these cool emojis to add to your message. You can tap on this little stop sign to add it to the message here. Now, you'll also find GIFs. If you tap on GIFs, here you'll find these really fun messages that you can add to the text as well. For example, I can tap on excited and tap on this. And then when you're done adding whatever you wanna to add to the message, hit your back button. That'll take you out. You may have to hit a couple of times. And now I have the GIF attached to the message and I have this little emoji and I can hit this button to send it off. So that's how you add those fun little um, visual messages or an emoji. Now, one more thing I wanna show you, there is a pop-up here. This is a record option. You can actually record a message and attach the message to the text message. So watch this, I'm gonna hold down here and it will begin to record my voice. But the catch is you have to hold down on that button. Let me show you one more time. So this is the button here. You put your finger on the button and you keep your finger there and it will begin recording a message. Now, if you swipe up, then it will continue to uh, record even without you holding the button. So now I can record a message. Hey, just wanted to say good morning. Hope you have a great day. And then you can simply hit the stop button to stop the message, or you can hit attach to attach it right to the message. You can also listen to the recording before you send it by hitting this button here. And it won't begin recording. And maybe you change your mind, decide you don't want to attach it. No problem. Simply hit the X right above the message and that will delete that recording. Now, one more important thing that I think you guys will appreciate, if I tap in the box that says text messages, maybe I want to type a message. Well, I wanna put a message, but I don't wanna type it. I just wanna say it, and I want it to type a message for me. So in that case, you're gonna tap on this microphone that you see at the top of the keyboard here, and then it will begin to listen, and then it will begin to transcribe everything you say and add it into the message. When you're done, hit the arrow here, and it has now added everything I said to the message. And if I wanna send it, I'm gonna hit this button here to send it off. So that's a brief rundown of how to basically type and send a text message, the different things you can do. Now I want you to notice, I initially went into a message that was already open, but if you wanna create a new text message, 
you would tap on this box in the bottom right corner, which is this little icon here. When you tap there, it will allow you to type in a name or a phone number and start a brand new message, just like this. I'm gonna type in a phone number. So type in the phone number with the area code and then tap send to and then tap there. And now it will start a brand new message with that phone number, okay? Now one more important thing to note, if you wanna create a group message and you wanna send a text to multiple people, you tap on this icon here that's right next to the phone. This is the group message icon. And when you tap on there, it will then allow you to type in another phone number and add it to the group so you can send them a text message, okay? So that's a, a brief rundown of how text messages work. And it's really easy to communicate. I would encourage you watch this section multiple times just so you can get used to all the different things that are available in sending text messages. You guys should consider picking up one of these really cool chargers. This is a charger that is portable. It'll pop right in the bottom of the phone. And these come in handy if you ever wake up and you've forgotten to charge your phone and you need to go out somewhere. You can simply plug this right into the charging port and this will help to charge up your phone while you're on the go. I keep one with me as a backup because sometimes you'll do different functions with your phone and the battery will just drain pretty quickly. So these little portable chargers are very helpful and um, they'll make sure your battery always has some life when you're on the go. You'll see a pop-up right here of where you can get one. And um, to find more helpful information on the Samsung Galaxy S24, check out that video on the left. And on the right, you'll find another really helpful video as well.